What's up guys, it's Unbranded here again, this is episode 4 of my Let's Play of The Walking Dead. Last episode we got kicked off Herschel's farm, because we got his son, well, he got his son killed. We didn't save Herschel's son, and we saved that little shit instead. Um, so we got kicked out, we're on his way to uh, downtown Macon, where we uh, get surrounded by zombies. A bunch of people brought us into this drugstore, uh, this old fart tried to kill this little kid, we stopped it. And yeah, now we need to go get some drugs for this old fart who just tried to like, kill us all. Um, some heart medicine, so we need to figure out a way how to get the keys. So let's get straight into this bitch. Right, so here we are. We've got Lee. Right, I've already played this, so there won't be as much derping around as the first time I did it, because there's a lot of other things to do. But saying that, it was a week and a bit ago. Since I did this, a lot of things I couldn't figure out. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> Pretty legit. Trade this as well. So this star is very, uh, very related to uh, Lee. We'll find out about that in a minute. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. So no, hun. Safe. Not just bitch first. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. No, no, no. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Look that around his radio. Oh my god, power. Hmm, nothing. Turn it over, so it wasn't. Oh, well. Can figure it out, huh? No, uh, no, 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 no. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. I know what's wrong with it. Just to there go for further. Oh, no the one day there's no work. batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Women. Too. Telling Thanks. You. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Right. No, but there's some batteries in the store. Like the one over here. Can I really we that just to need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Battery no more in there? No more. Oh, what am I on about? Alright. Fucking dick there who tried to fucking kill the kid. Cabala. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Right. Just need to remember where to go. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Confused. Right, there's a door somewhere. Oh, that one. There's some this wall here. Okay. And this is where you find out how the story relates to Lee. Even it might be a bit obvious. See, this is um, Lee's family, and this is uh, his family's shop. Right, 
Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Dun, You're dun, Lee dun. Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Bow chicka wow Don't worry about it. She's gonna get busy. Right. Um. Let's get straight into this. So. I think it's a shit out the way. What's that? It's a cane. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Oh, sure. Here we go. Fucking Watch your for this game. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Let's get bit first for the win. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Oh. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. <laughs> Ow! Oh dear. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Oh, no shit. <laughs> We're getting blood pouring out of it. I'll find you a bandage. <laughs> I'd squirt out of it. Let's have a look at that finger. 
now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Tough shit. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. Well, we should keep a lookout. Him. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? That's what it is. Do you need drive? The remote one? It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Nice talking to the dollar. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Is there a thing in this room, I do believe? I do want to get out. It's so shit. Do I have to stop the hill? I can't remember. Uh, How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Oh, I guess I should see if I've got The pants came in here hoping to survive. Looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Can we leave this room? Hey. Not good. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Get some rest, hun. How can I with those things oh, out shit. there? It's not much, but here for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, my butter is just pissing out really. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? Oh, didn't happen last This time. is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Also, I'm guessing getting these drugs is optional. Last time, I kind of, I did it. Yeah, I got the drugs first, and then I went to pick one. What time is it? Oh, it's coming up to 15 minutes, I think. Yes, it is. So yeah, that is episode four. Um, 
Episode 5, I'm pretty sure we'll be getting into more like zombie actions, more shit will be going down. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that. If you liked it, give it a like, uh, maybe tell your friend, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.